One of the more overlooked aspects of a successful Amazon listing are the keywords. Now keywords, if used correctly, they can actually work to your advantage and put your listing in front of hundreds and hundreds of potential customers. On the other hand, if you use them incorrectly, they can actually hide your listing from all of those customers. Today, we're gonna to be covering my top three tips on how you can find these keywords. And additionally, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how I do it for my own business. Okay, so first off, let's start out with the basics. A keyword is a search term used to help customers find your product listing on Amazon. In other words, keywords help us identify what our product is to customers and to Amazon most importantly. So whenever a customer types in a certain phrase of words and we have those keywords on our listing, Amazon's gonna know to pull our listing and put it in front of that customer. Now when it comes to keywords, there are three mistakes or three tips that I want you to follow, especially if you're a beginner Amazon seller. The first thing is that beginners tend to use popular keywords that are not relevant at all to their listing and their product. So for example, let's say that you're selling blue light bulbs and you're doing your research and you find a keyword that is firework light bulbs that has you know, hundreds of thousands of searches each month. You go ahead and you add that to your listing. I would say that's a terrible idea because anytime someone actually searches for firework light bulbs, they want that specific light bulb. And if you do pop up on the first couple pages and they see your blue light bulb, they're just gonna scroll right past it or they're not even gonna mind it. Second, beginners will use keywords that aren't very specific and maybe only one to two words long. The more specific that your keywords are, the better that your listing is gonna be. For another example, let's say that you're selling white mugs now that are microwavable safe. It's much better to use the keyword white mug microwavable safe versus white mug. A customer searching for white mug will have thousands of different options and you may not actually come across yours. On the other hand, if a customer is searching for white mug microwavable safe and your listing pops up, there's a very high likelihood that they're going to go ahead and purchase your product, assuming everything else checks out. Lastly, beginners tend to use brand names in their keywords. This is a guaranteed way to have your listing suspended. So think of names like Apple, Microsoft, Nike. Uh, you should not put these in there because they're trademark brand names and you're actually not allowed to do that on Amazon. Uh, the only time that you are allowed to put these brand names in your actual product listing and on the back end for your keywords is if you're describing compatibility for your product. All right, so now that we know the mistakes to avoid, let's discuss how we can use Jungle Scout to find the best keywords for our listing. Okay, let's go ahead and let's finally go through a tutorial here so you can understand how I actually find these keywords, how I rank them, and how I actually go about adding them to my product listing. So to make things easy, we're going to run through an example here just so you can follow along. Um, if you're watching this tutorial and you're actually doing this for your own product listing, just think of this as your own product and follow step by step. The first thing is we're going to assume that we're selling these fall pillow covers. As you can see here, there's a set of four of them and they are... 45 by 45 centimeters, which is approximately 18 by 18 inches. As you can see, they're seasonal. So we want to make sure that we are targeting specific keywords that relate to this product shown here and not a similar one or one that isn't as relevant. So what we'll do is we'll head over to Amazon and what I want you guys to do is to type in that product that you plan to be selling. So for us, fall pillow covers, we'll type that in and you're gonna see a wide array of that product type that you're looking up. So anyways, we are gonna be using Jungle Scout for this example today, and that's how I actually pull these keywords, and it's a lot easier. At the very end, I will show you a free way of doing so, but it's definitely not the best way. Uh, so before we get started here, make sure you guys actually have access to Jungle Scout, or else it's gonna be much more complicated to go through this tutorial um, and follow step by step. I do have a discount link down in the description, so make sure to check that out. Uh, so what we'll do is go to the Chrome extension in the upper right-hand corner, this is gonna bring up a wide array of analytics here. We're not gonna worry about those. Um, we can get into those later in a product research video. But for this, what we want to look for is a similar product listing, which this one you know, is similar. It's 18 by 18 inches, four of them, um, and it has a, a seasonal aspect to it, right? And what we want to find is the one that relates most directly to our listing, our product, and additionally is the most successful listing in this niche which you can base it on the monthly sales for that successful factor, or you can base it on the monthly revenue. So for this example, let's just go off the revenue. So $133,000 for a similar one. Uh, the one down below, I think it's 
the same listing, the same brand. Uh, again, 135,000. So those are good. I wouldn't do this one just because you know they're selling in sets of two, not four. Uh, they are 18 by 18 inches. But lastly, the design differs a little bit too much that I would like. So either one of these, I think they would work for this example. They have high revenue. They're definitely very successful because they're ranking in the top three um, in this product niche. So with Jungle Scout, it's extremely simple. All you have to do to find those top keywords is to click this key where it says look up keywords. We'll do the second one here. We'll click that and you're gonna be brought to Jungle Scout's Keyword Scout. And what it's doing right now as it loads is it's taking the ASIN from that product listing, which is shown right here, and then it's pulling all of those keywords from the back end as well as from the front end, mean, meaning the description, the title, and all everything on that product listing. Now it's gonna filter it based on what is getting the most number of hits, the most number of searches during that month period. And then also it will show you the 30-day trend, and that's really all we really need to worry about as of right now. Everything to the right here, this is mainly to be used for advertising, pay-per-click bid if it's exact or a broad search. Let's not worry about that right now. So what we want to go ahead and do now is we wanna begin selecting our keywords and adding them to our list so that we can eventually put them in our Amazon listing and add them to our title, our bullet points, and our description. Now remember from the beginning of this video, we're looking for keywords that are relevant, uh, that relate to our product, and that are very specific. If there's just one or two characters here like fall decor, you know, that doesn't necessarily describe our fall pillows that are 18 by 18 inches very well, even though they have the highest search volume. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down through here and we'll walk through a couple of these. And we want a keyword that has high search volume and that relates directly to our product. So for the second one here, fall pillow covers, that is much more specific than fall decor. It relates directly to our product and has great search volume and a very positive 30 day trend meaning the demand is increasing for that keyword. So we'll go ahead and left side here, we'll click check. And as you can see here, it says one selected and we'll eventually add these keywords to our list once we get about 10 of these. So we'll keep going down through this list. Here's another one, fall pillow covers 18 by 18. That is nearly identical to what we're selling, very specific. So if someone were to type this in, you know they're looking for a fall pillow cover that is 18 by 18 inches and we have a much better shot of popping up higher organically in the search results. So we'll continue this process until we have about 10 selected and that's when we head to the next step. All right, once you've done that and you've selected your 10 keywords at least, let's go ahead and add these to a list. So we'll come in here and we'll add our list name, which will be Fall Pillows. Name it whatever you want. It's really just for you to identify that list. And after that, you should get the message in the upper right-hand corner saying it's been created successfully. And on the left side here now, we're gonna go to the keyword list. So we're on Keyword Scout. Now we gotta head over to Keyword Lists. Once that screen pops up, you should see all the keywords that you selected along with all the information. So this is our list now. Now what we want to go ahead and do is we want to export these so we can add them to our Amazon listing. Uh, so we'll select all of them as we did here on the left side of that check mark and click download CSV. This is exporting as a CSV file. If you're unfamiliar with this file type, it can be opened up um, in numbers if you have a Mac or in Excel or even on, uh, on Google Sheets. So open that up and then you'll find the keywords here. Select the keywords and click copy, and that's all we have to do with that. That's really just an export version of what you're seeing here, this table. Now, before we actually go ahead and paste these into our Amazon listing on the back end and put them through our title and our bullet points and so forth, we want to make sure that it's under 250 characters. Um, this is a requirement for the number of keywords that you can add to your Amazon listing, and the max is 250. So if we paste, that into this character counter. You can find this website by going to charactercounttool.com. Uh, we want to add all these in here and we wanna make them all on the same line. So just click backspace in front of each keyword. Okay, and once you've done that, you can see it says 217 characters. So we're below that 250 character limit that we see there. And that's why I said before that we should keep it around 10 keywords because once you get above 10 to 15 keywords, you're gonna exceed that limit and then you really have to be selective. Now the next step is a very important step because a lot of people will go ahead, they'll add their keywords in here and they'll just copy these and paste them over into Amazon. Now there's a big issue with what we've done here. What we've done is we've added a lot of repetition. As you can see, fall is probably, we can actually just search for it. So we have fall in here five times we have pillow in here 11 times, very repetitive. 
And that is a big thing that Amazon actually looks for when they are organically placing your listing. If they see all this repetition, you know, they're not going to actually rank you as higher in the search results versus optimizing this and removing a lot of that repetition. So what I'll do now is I'll actually go to all of these ones that say pillow and I'll remove them. And same with pillows. It's according to Amazon, it's the same word if it's plural or singular. So I'm going to remove all of those except one. Keep that first one there. The next I'll go through fall and I'll keep doing this for all of the keywords that we have here just to optimize our list down even, even further. Okay, once you've done that and you optimize that list, as you can see, we went from about 217 characters down to 93. So we'll copy those and we'll head over to our listing. It should look very similar to this on the desktop. This is just a sample listing, disregard you know, what the product actually is up here. But for you, you'll see these four tabs. Now what you wanna do is you wanna click advanced view on the right, and this is gonna enable you to see the keywords tab. As you can see, a bunch more popped up. Click keywords, and this is actually where we're gonna be adding those keywords, those search terms, and paste those in there. So as you can see now, we have all of our keyword, our search terms, um, into our listing and now we'll go ahead and we'll add this to our description and over to the vital info tab and put them in our title Organically that way it just enhances the search engine engine optimization for our listing here Now I do want to know you do not have to actually go in here and separate each one of those keywords or set of keywords with a comma That's not how the Amazon algorithm actually works how it actually works is whenever someone goes ahead they, Let's say they type in fall pillow covers 18 by 18 what Amazon's gonna do, it's going to search of all those listings that have those keywords. So we have fall, pillows, 18 by 18, uh, covers. So we have all of that in here. And it doesn't matter if it's in order, if it's all at the front or all at the back. Amazon's gonna read that very quickly with their algorithm and pull whatever's the most relevant and also search through your description and your entire listing for that set of keywords, those search terms. Now, the last thing that I would do is I would repeat those steps so we can add some more keywords in here. Remember, you have a maximum of 250 characters. We used about 93 in this example. I'd go back, I'd do this all again, and I'd optimize them, remove the repetition, remove words such as or, and, for, and so on. That way you really have an optimized and condensed list. Okay, so that was how to do it with Jungle Scout, which is definitely the best way if you wanna be an Amazon seller for the long term, and you want to really optimize your listing. Now there is a way that you can do this for free because I do understand even with the discounted link that I can offer you guys, Jungle Scout is somewhat expensive. So if you're looking to do this for the first time or you're just trying to test things out on Amazon with your listing, go over to trends.google.com and we're gonna actually do a very quick process to find some of those top 10, maybe 15 keywords that we can use for our listing. So go up to the top here and we'll type in fall pillows for our example. And as you can see here, it will show you interest over time, um, what people are actually searching for in Google search engine. What I want you guys to do is to disregard all of this information. It's good to know for some other, some other things, especially product research, but I want you guys to go down to the bottom here. So this is gonna show you related queries, which is basically other keywords that people are maybe typing in. Instead of just fall pillows, people are typing in fall throw pillows, which has a lot of interest, especially right now fall outdoor pillows and fall decor. So it, it, you know, it gave you three there, but it's not great. You know, it's not gonna show you over 2000 results like Jungle Scout did, but it is gonna show you a couple more keywords, uh, different searches that people are inputting into Google search engine, which is probably very similar to what people are searching for on Amazon. If you're looking for more keywords, you can go ahead and maybe click that top one and look, do the same thing. Sometimes there's enough data to actually uh, show you other related searches but that is just something that you get you know, using free software like this.